गुड मॉर्निंग आई लव यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन द डायरी ऑफ अ स्पेस ट्रैवलर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन ए रीड द सेंटेंसेस एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट आई हैड नो आइडिया इफ एनी ऑफ दिस स्पेकुलेशंस वर करेक्ट बट आई डिड नो दैट प्रोफेसर शोंको वाज अ साइंटिस्ट ए नेम द स्पीकर द नरेटर ऑफ द स्टोरी वाज द स्पीकर b what speculations was the speaker talking about and answer the speculations the speaker was talking about were that professor shonku had done an experiment that had gone terribly wrong and he had disappeared after that and some people believed that he was still alive then second in a complex venture like this every second matters a name the speaker the speaker was professor shonku b what ventures was the speaker talking about answer the complex venture was the launch of a rocket to go into space c what had happened to the venture the attempt to launch the rocket had failed then third when i climbed out of the rocket i see a large number of giant ant like people a name the speaker the speaker was professor shonku b who were the giant ant like people answer they were the residents of planet tafa c where had the speaker landed and with whom answer he had landed on planet tafa with his servant prahlad his cat newton and his robot bidu shekhar then b answer the questions briefly first where did tarak chatterjee find the notebook answer tarak chatterjee found the notebook at the place where a big meteorite had fallen in the matharia district in sundarban questions second What did Professor Shonku think of Prahlad? Why did he still decide to take Prahlad to space? Answer: Professor Shonku thought that Prahlad was a fool. He decided to take Prahlad into space because he felt that sometimes slow and foolish people showed more courage than the clever ones. The next page, third question. How did Prahlad save Professor Shonku and everyone else in the laboratory? Answer: When a bottle of bicarbonic acid overturned and the acid started moving towards a heap of peroxide powder, peroxide powder, Prahlad coolly wiped off the liquid and saved everyone. If the acid had mixed with the powder, the laboratory and all the persons in it would have been destroyed. Next question What did Newton and Prahlad do on the spaceship answer Newton sat quietly and stared out of the window Prahlad read the Ramayana and the Mahabharata Then fifth what did Mars look like On Mars the trees the ground and the rocks were soft and felt like rubber There was a red river that had water like guava jelly. Everything looked the opposite of what there was on earth. Question number 6. Why was professor worried about the robot? Professor Shonku was worried about Bidu Shekhar because after landing on Mars he had been switched on but he was not moving at all. Question number 7. What strange creature Did Professor Shonku see describe its appearance answer Professor Shonku saw a creature that was no human nor an animal or a fish it was about 4 feet high it had legs and feet and had huge fins in place of arms it had a big head with a single large green eye in the center its mouth was gaping wide without any teeth and its body was covered with fish scales that shown in sunlight question number 
how did the professor manage to stop bidu shekhar from attacking the martian army why did he do so answer professor shonku switch off bidu shekhar to stop him from attacking the martian army the professor did not want to fight with the martian army then question number 9 describe the planet tafa and describe the planet tafa and professor shonku's life over there Tafa was inhabited by giant ant like people with large head and eyes and very thin arms and legs. Tafa has no trees, plants, buildings or houses and the inhabitants lived and the inhabitants lived in holes. Professor Shonku lived with Prahlad and Newton who had settled down well in Tafa. Bidu Shekhar had disappeared after they had landed in Tafa. then next question what was the professor's only regret and why did he regret so answer his only regret was that there was no way he could send his diary back to earth he felt his diary should reach earth as it had lots of valuable information see think and answer the question first question Second question what did Bidu Shekhar do to the rocket at one point in time why do you think he would have done that answer Bidu Shekhar suddenly jumped to his feet and rushed to the control panel and pulled the handle that puts rocket into reverse motion perhaps he sensed some danger ahead third did you notice that after a few entries professor shonku stopped recording the dates in his diary why do you think he did that answer professor shonku may have lost track of all time and hence he stopped recording the dates in his diary 